When you're an independent producer, you don't have all of the studio backing, studio financing to complete a film. So you have to look in a bunch of different areas to creatively produce and find money. So No Nuts is set at a summer camp and there were a lot of locations that we were thinking about throughout the process of pre-production. For example, we originally wanted to shoot the film about an hour or two away from Syracuse at this beautiful state park and you know it would have been really really nice we thought it was gorgeous and perfect but the thing is the permit was about a thousand dollars a day and we'd have to pay for the cast and crew to transport themselves over there and have to pay for lodging so we thought about it more and shot at Thornton Park which is right in our backyard and it ended up being so gorgeous and really perfect for this story, being a low budget summer camp. So it really fit really well. You need to spend money on things, you definitely do. And there are some things that you are more willing slash more in need of spending more money for. And that would be equipment for sure. And when you're trying to make a movie that is going to be submitted to festivals and have very high production value and trying to give your crew who you trust so much to give them the best equipment that they need to make the story happen. You have to kind of balance the checkbook in other departments in order to make the best image possible for that screen. Spend the big dollars on things that you can see. And then for everything else, figure it out. Also, what was an insanely helpful, helpful thing was a fiscal sponsorship and partnership with a nonprofit downtown called the Media Unit. We were able to accept tax-free donations, and that is huge when trying to sell a project to people by saying, yo, you could make this a tax write-off on your 2018 taxes, and also you could help build the community and help the community's youth. Roll camera. Rolling. Speed. Sound speed. Roll and roll. Rolling. Rolling. During the production of No Nuts, um, Aaron and I used our company vehicle, Norma, a renovated school bus, to transport wardrobe items and to hold props um, and things for the production. Uh, and it was very helpful, and it was just another way of us being resourceful to cut on costs for this production. So another thing that we were fortunate to use our resources with is housing. Um, we're, since we live in a full house full of people on our production team, we were able to host more of our crew in our houses. Um, and we, were part, we partnered with this startup called Stability, because we know the CEO of Stability, who offered her home to help house some of our crew. Um, in exchange for that, we uh, asked people to sign up for her startup. One of the most important expenses that we have to cover on a set of a movie is feeding your cast and crew. We always made sure that we had coffee on and offset. Our coffee sponsor was the Don Eduardo Coffee Company. Secondly, um, for a quick on-the-go meal, we were sponsored by Soylent that sent us 144 bottles of product which is a meal in a bottle, basically. <laughs> when we had to buy food, we really wanted to cut costs when we did. So we had a lot of pasta dinners, which we got like $1 pounds of pasta from the Dollar Tree. It's really great to have community people that are interested in the product that you're working on. Um, and they are more than happy to supply a meal if they can't supply like monetary investment. So they're like, hey, like what I do best is make food, so please have some of the food that I can provide to you. And that really, really cut costs on meals that we had to do. To see who fed our cast and crew, you can totally see the list of sponsors on our Kickstarter page. Organizing character emotions is very important, I think for a DIY film set because um, it makes sure that time efficiency is good when trying to um, get an initial emotion out of a kid or out of a professional actor or out of like a first time actor on set. When you organize um, directing in a way 
that break down each character's emotions per scene. It, one, helps the actor understand what's happening like in five seconds when you're on set. With the kid actors, I worked with them two days before filming at the media unit using Sarah's character breakdown sheet. So um, each kid had to fill out their emotions for their character and like how their character would feel, like what makes their character feel happy, what makes their character feel sad. A big thing in independent film is asking for help and knowing that you can actually save dollars that can go to more things if you just pop the question, will you fund us? It's a big one. It's a big one, an intimate question, and people like to hear it. Sometimes, sometimes they'll say no, you'll be faced with rejection, but it's okay because for every 10 no's, you'll get a yes. You just gotta ask and kind of become a little bit shameless with what you do. Thanks everybody, yeah, okay. <laughs>